Welcome back to another recon. This time for a team time trial, we're in France and it's the Rue Mapoule. A really tough, challenging course because there's a climb right at the start and then again, the same climb comes right at the end. A three kilometer drag to the finish line here. Let's dive in to this week's recon. So welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the recon, welcome back to the Zwift Racing League 23-24. As I said, this week is round three, and we're in France and it's on the Rue Mapoule course. 26.2 kilometers here, and this week we're gonna do things a little bit differently. First of all, the footage is from Team BL13 that you're gonna see in their team time trial that they did on this course just a few months ago. So thank you for Team BL13, a real experienced team when it comes to Zwift racing and indeed time trials. So thank you for that footage. Secondly, before we get on course this time, I'm gonna go through the recon notes and the segments that you wanna watch out for this course before we get on course. And then I'm just gonna let the footage play all the way through and you can look out for those key points along with those recon notes. As always, those recon notes are available over on the community pages at levelvelo.cc. So go and check out those recon notes. And that's where you can also find the links to all the recon videos and all the recon notes for the courses that we've done so far over on the Zwift platform. There's a link for all those recon notes and those community pages down in the description below. Also down in the description below, you're going to find a link to the virtual Velo podcast. I know I've mentioned it before, but this is the podcast with myself as the host, along with Chris Svenke from the Zamunike there. And if you're into your Zwift racing and your cycling esports, that podcast could be for you. Go and check out thezamunike.com. There's a link in the description. You can also find that podcast on whichever podcast platform you utilize to digest your podcast. So go and check that out in the link down below. While you're down there also, don't forget to like the video and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Both of those things really help this video and the channel a ton and I really appreciate it. All right, so on with the recon. First of all, bike choice. You wanna go for the most aero time trial bike and wheel set you have in your garage. Despite the climb at the start and the climb at the end, it is fast, flat, coursier, and aero will rule the day. And yes, in WTRL team time trials, time trial bikes are allowed and you will get drafting enabled for this particular event. In terms of the course then, here are the recon notes. There are three points to look out for. Well, two points, but the first point here, this climb at the start, basically, which is the Petticom reverse. This is a three kilometer draggy climb that you're gonna start this event with in this course. And again, controlling the power, making sure you get four to six riders, preferably six over the top of this first climb, because the rest of the course is gonna be long and flat. And again, the more riders you've got, the faster your speeds, and the lower your time's gonna be on this particular course. Point two is then the Aqueduct KOM. Again, getting six riders over this together. I know it's a short, sharp push, but again, making sure you get six riders over the top here are gonna deliver the quickest times because after this, you've got a long, flat run in before you get back to the marina and before you take on this final reverse petty com climb for the final time and that final three kilometer drag all the way to the finish line. So that's it, we're gonna leave the pens, take a right and start this three kilometer drag up this reverse petty calm. Again, anywhere between two to 6% on this climb. Try and keep your riders together, control that power there. Maybe let one rider take the pull all the way up this climb. When you get to the top of this final three kilometers, you're gonna take the left hand turn, go through this banner, and then you've got a descent and flat road all the way to the next point, which will be the aqueduct KOM. Remember, no power ups, no segment points, no segment times. It's about the lap time total, which is gonna determine your, determine your finishing position in this particular race. But getting all riders over this aqueduct climb will mean you've got six riders to tackle this long flat section as we head back to the marina.
So as we come through the marina, we're going to approach this final three kilometer drag here towards the finish line, this reverse petty KOM here. And it's that left turn again that you did at the start at the top, which is going to take you across that finishing banner. Again, dropping one or two riders here, not a big problem, but you do need four riders to count as you cross that finish line at the top. This is the climb there where, again, you don't want to drop, but you do want to make sure you empty those legs and empty the tank of all that energy and all that fuel to maximize those times on this particular course. So that's it, that's the course. Don't forget to go and check out the recon notes over on levelvelo.cc. In terms of recon rides, again, BL13 will be doing their ride on Saturday evening UK time. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I'm sure they're gonna have some team time trial experts from their team, or maybe another partner team that they work with there to share some of the best team time trial tips and tricks. So go and check that out. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another Recon.